In this video, I'm walking you through a home for sale that's in one of the newest communities in the Austin metro area that has incredible topography and views. Now this is the Hawthorne plan. It's for sale at just over $505,000. It's got four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and is an open concept home just under 2,700 square feet. Now I think you're gonna see what that looks like as soon as we walk in through the front door where we're open to the second story. There is a game room and some bedrooms upstairs. You're also gonna see open to the second story in the living room. And then we have the staircase tucked away here on the left side. Now, this home is empty, but I'm gonna walk you through each of these rooms in detail. We're also gonna talk about this community that we're in called Lariat, that is in a fast growing suburb in the Liberty Hill, Texas area. That's a suburb northwest of Austin, Texas. I'm gonna try to walk you through some upgrades that I'm seeing in here for a home that's listed at $505,550. Now we're gonna go through each room in detail and I'm gonna start here in the kitchen. And before I do, let me introduce myself. My name is Raj Safu. I am a realtor here in the Austin, Texas area. And I've represented clients with 20 different builders. So I'm gonna give you the perspective of walking these types of homes with dozens and dozens of buyers. And what buyers tell me about this type of kitchen is they love the backsplash going up the vent hood. It really just draws your attention and is a very cool design element above this five burner gas stove top. That modern vent hood is a great touch too. Let me know what you think about that backsplash. There are so many options when it comes to backsplash that I find with some of my clients that end up building from scratch. That's one of the most overwhelming parts because they look at a wall of so many different backsplashes and sometimes that's the, the one part that they didn't really plan for that's tough. Uh, now, this is going to be a look at the kitchen island and then we're looking out at the dining area. And before I get there, let me show you this pantry and then later on in the video, again, we will talk about Lariat and this community. And by the way, there's an automatic light here. There we go. Uh, we will talk about the topography that's here and lots that are coming up and some of the homes that TriPoint is doing because this is an inventory home, meaning you can't change anything at this point. Obviously, the home is finished and for sale, but you can also build from scratch with TriPoint. And I have a client that is building from scratch. They just contracted uh, about a month ago in this community. And I'm going to tell you what their perspective was when looking at TriPoint as well as this community of Larry. This is going to be your dining area tucked in next to the staircase. That's why they have four lights there. I like how you get a couple of windows there that's bringing in good natural light. And then here is another look at the living room. Now, I know this is empty, but just bear with me. You see the outlets on the right side of that wall? Well, that's where your TV would go. So they have this position where you have sliding glass doors that really open up this space tall ceilings in this living room and then it's perfectly situated to put a couch on this area and then maybe like a chase on that side or even couches that are on this right side uh, but I would definitely keep that middle part of the door open because that's where the sliding glass doors open up and then just imagine you're sitting on your couch here and this is your living room which I'm going to show you again because at this square footage just under 2,700 square feet, I believe it was 2,693 approximately for square footage. I love seeing open concept homes and a lot of buyers don't believe that this is possible around a half a million dollars. Uh, and I'm here to tell you it is, that's why I'm out here. Uh, and it's because you can get these homes that I think so many people are looking for that are open concept, good upgrades, and in a community that has a lot of amenities that are coming up. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Also like the patio ceiling height in here. It's a good size. And even though we are backing right away to a neighbor, it is the side of their home. So at least you're not looking at their living room. Um, the yard space is going to be different with every lot. I think on this one, we're a little bit tighter, but it does depend on uh, the lot, obviously. And there's different lots. And that's the beauty of building from scratch. If you have a particular lot size, you have a particular direction you want the home to face to, you can put these open concept homes on a lot of these lots that are around here, meaning there are a lot more options. Obviously with resales, you just don't get as much. Now we're gonna head to the primary uh, bedroom next. 
and that's going to be located right around this corner and what i find a lot of buyers say about uh primary bedrooms is they want enough space for a bed a dresser but they also just want great windows that bring in natural light a lot of people tell me they wake up they open up the curtains and they want to see the sun they want to feel the sun and maybe not always in the summer uh, but a lot of my buyers that are calling, calling me from the west coast they're either from seattle where seattle ranks number one for least amount of sunny days in the united states i'm not hating on seattle i love seattle i think it's beautiful but i get so many clients that tell me it's so difficult to enjoy the outdoors you can do it in the summer but after the summer's over it's just rain 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 and they want to be in an area where they can enjoy the outdoors now that does come with a catch and austin texas does have a catch which is the summer is brutal, right? July, August is not that fun. But I always tell people at that time, fly to Colorado. It's a couple hours flight around that. Uh, you Or double down on the heat, go down to Mexico. And there's so many things that you can do uh, in the summer to kind of beat the heat. We also have a lot of pools. We have communities like this that have incredible amenities, like an event lawn, an amenity center that's coming up. There's so much on-site uh, uh, things that are coming up in this community like hike and bike trails and so many fun events to get people outside their homes meeting their neighbors uh, it's hard for me to even list out all of them but that's why a lot of people like coming out to lariat and i also think the price point helps so uh moving on we are in the primary bathroom uh we had the walk-in shower that we saw previously two vanities and then here is a look at the primary closet now, I like in this plan, they did do the door that went to the utility room. And by the way, some of these things are upgrades. Some of them might be included in the plan. They do change these over time. So definitely double check with the builder and also work with a great realtor that can guide you through all the options and give you an unbiased perspective on who the best options are based on your criteria, which I think is very important. Uh, but that was a look at the utility room, which I'll kind of circle back to around the corner. Uh, that way you don't have to take your laundry through your home. You can just take your dirty laundry through that door. And I like how when you get to the primary bedroom, it opens up well, which we just saw. But when you exit it, it opens up into this main living area. Now, for this plan, we do have two bedrooms downstairs. There's another bedroom at the front of the home but i just want to show you while we're here this is that utility room that we just saw that did open up into the primary closet that's of course plumbing on the left for a washer and then a vent on the right for a dryer and then of course right next to the utility room we have a two-car garage that black loop is usually a water softer loop we do have hard water in a lot of areas in the austin metro area just means the water is very mineralized and so usually a good idea to have that loop because you don't want to go back into the walls and figure out plumbing later uh, for that water software loop which simply just demineralizes the water so it's not as hard uh, the benefit of doing that sometimes people say it's good for your skin but also it just like increases the longevity of appliances that you have in your home and shower heads and kind of everything now, that was uh, a look at underneath the closet uh, storage, which I think is important. So many of my clients tell me, where are they going to store all their stuff? And I always tell them, it's risky to do it in attic space because you may not get a lot of attic space in these homes. A lot of homes, if the HVAC unit is in the attic, the builder just needs to give you access to that HVAC unit so that you can change your HVAC filter, which you usually have to do every three to six months. But... Uh, they just have to give you access to that. So wherever the position is from the ladder to that HVAC unit, that's really all you're going to get. Sometimes that's just not enough storage. And so I like that storage underneath underneath the stairwell because you're room for, you know, suitcases or, uh, or whatever you're storing that you need to get access to when you're traveling. It's, it's nice to have that close. It's a good look at the linen closet. And I would say good builders try to fit as much storage as possible because here in austin we do not have basements for the most part so if you're coming from the north it's uh, not easy to get storage in a lot of these homes now moving on we are in the second bedroom downstairs i find this is so important for 
a lot of my clients because they tell me they have uh, aging parents that they want staying with them comfortable on the first floor. They don't want them going up and down the steps. And I think again, at this price point, around $500,000 to get two bedrooms down, have an open concept when you first walk in the front door, which we're gonna give you another look at, and have a game room upstairs and bedrooms. And I'm gonna show you that view again from one of those bedrooms that kind of captures the topography here in this community. I would say a lot of buyers are really interested in this community uh, because of what I just mentioned, the price point and the builders and these open concept homes. But it's also because of what's coming up. Right now, Liberty Hill, Texas is growing because of that 183A corridor. If you look at 183A right now, right before it reaches 29, 29 runs east and west, 183 runs north and south. Right now, they're extending 183A to 29. Based on their last announcement, they should be completing that uh, highway to 29 sometime in 2025. Obviously, that could shift. But here in Texas, we have weather where they can usually build out that infrastructure and highways all year round. So if you're coming from the north, uh, we don't have to deal with the winters and some of the things that have uh, that the north has to do. So we tend to hit timelines at a much higher probability here. My point in bringing that up is while we took a look at that game room, which is open to the living room, and then we have a couple bedrooms here split by a full bathroom. I wanted to just continue mentioning that when that corridor gets completed, 183 to 29, it's gonna provide more access to Liberty Hill. And, and that's been you know, a work in progress for a little while, but now that we're on the verge of completing that, I think there are gonna be a lot more communities, a lot more access to this area, and that's how Texas grows. That's why we grow wide and we can be you know, 20, 30, 40 miles outside of downtown but you still feel like you can access some of these uh, amenities that people want, whether that's schools, on-site amenities, restaurants, shops close by. And that's why I think the north part of Austin really started to explode right when the pandemic started. Uh, it was already growing rapidly, but it just caused this, this explosion of growth simply because people would come out here and they'd say, wow, there's beautiful topography here, even from this closet window. They'd say there's greenery, there's beauty, and we can enjoy our outdoor patio all year round. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, people that come here and they don't, they don't even realize that Austin or a city in the middle of Texas has any of these things. Uh, and I, I didn't know that either. Uh, I grew up in Pennsylvania where, um, you know, as a child, I didn't really uh, put, make an emphasis on the beauty that was there in Pennsylvania. But now that I've left Pennsylvania and I've been around in a lot of areas that are flat, uh, I've realized that it, there's some beautiful mountains and, and I, I, I wanted to be in an area that kind of captured that beauty that was here in the United States, but also a place that had a lot of growth. And, and I think that's really Austin and this specific community called Lariat in a nutshell. A growing city in Liberty Hill, Texas, outside of Austin, Texas. Uh, a lot of jobs coming south of here with Apple, Apple's new campus south of here. Two children's hospitals just got finished in early 2024. And that combination of job growth and great master plan communities that are very livable. And then most importantly, the topography that's here. Do you see all that dirt in the distance? That is a future section coming up in this community in Lariat. And going back to my buyers that contracted with TriPoint, they actually contracted on the model home that's there. Uh, or the, the same floor plan, I should say, called the Rhymer plan. And I'm so excited for them to plan that has two bedrooms down with a study and uh, is very open concept, big living room, and just has so many boxes that, uh, that get checked for so many buyers that are looking at communities like this. I'm so excited for them. Now, when you build from scratch, you can pick all of your upgrades. And so almost everything that you see here cosmetically can be chosen. You can also choose your structural upgrades. So you can add a media room in that plan or do other things in that plan. Uh, you can add sliding glass doors. There, there are many different options that TriPoint uh, can offer both from a structural and design standpoint. So if you are interested in what that looks like, you want an unbiased perspective on who the best options are, 
from a build standpoint, uh, reach out to me. My number is at the bottom of the description of this video. If you wanna see more homes for sale, go to my website. That's actually where I first post them. So that's going to be at the top of the description of this video. And then finally, if you wanna see another home for sale, go ahead and click on the right side on your screen. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care, everybody.